Hello YouTube, today's video is about how to create a project pitch deck that get film distributors to say yes to your project. We're gonna shoot that for the day. So before we get going, if you're new here, my name is Alex LeMay and this channel is about how to monetize your filmmaking career and sell your original content. So I sit on the buying side a lot, so I, I meet a lot of filmmakers who are pitching their work and I get a lot of the same thing and I want to say this so that you guys can avoid this. What ends up happening is I end up seeing a lot of three ring binders of evil, which are these giant, uh, sort of really highly produced, beautiful pieces of work uh, with 13 scripts in them, backstories for every character, uh, set schematics, costuming renderings, uh, and at the end of the day, distributors are never gonna read that. And the reason they're never gonna read that is because they have 50 of these things a day they have to go through. And what that ends up doing is it ends up selling them work. They have to take two hours to go through this, five hours to go through this, whatever the length of it is. And they're just not gonna do that. And so I'm gonna encourage you not to do that. So what do you need to do? What you need to do is create literally a 10 page deck and it can't be anything other than the version that a fifth grader could understand. And it's not because distributors are stupid, it's because they need snapshots. They don't need the whole thing now. They need to know what the project rests on and they need a very specific set of information in order to say yes. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly what information needs to go into a deck and how it needs to be presented. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna give you guys a gift. So be sure to stick around because there's a free download at the end that is gonna help you immensely. So the next part of this video comes from my course, Pitch Beast. It is a step-by-step -step pitch system that helps filmmakers and creators to pitch their projects to get distributors to say yes and now. So stick around to the end because I'm going to give you a free gift and here we go. We are at the meat of the meat of the matter. This is the leave behind deck. Uh, this is the one that after you pitch, this is what you leave them with. And this is the highlight reel basically of your project. This is the document that allows them to take it from that meeting and show it to anybody else that needs to see it so that that buyer or that distributor can make a decision as to whether they are going to green light your project and write you the check or pass. And this information that you have here is the information that they need to be able to make that decision. What this also isn't is the giant production Bible. This is not the series Bible with backstory and character outlines and story arcs and things like that. This is a snapshot, but still something they can read in five minutes tops and get a clear, clear, clear understanding of what this project is about and something that they can then take and use to explain why this is an important project for them to their boss, because that's ultimately who they're going to have to sell this up to after you leave the room. So let's get moving. This is clearly the title page. Uh, this is where you get to brand your project. So I've kept it intentionally simple here for demonstration purposes, but you can actually you know, design your title here and snazz it up a little bit. Uh, I also then include my name, my title. So am I the executive producer, the producer, the writer? Am I the director? You know, they want to know who you are at that point. My email, my phone number, and my Twitter handle, you can include that or leave it off. A lot of people are starting to put that on their decks now. And your company logo here. I usually just include the company logo on the first and the very last slide. So moving forward, again, this is some of the same information, 
that we had on our one sheet just in you know a digestible form here with an image next to it I try to include images that are emblematic of the tone of the piece that I'm pitching. Then we move forward to our synopsis. Uh, this is an extension and an expansion of the really short one that you had on your one sheet. Again, all of the information on your one sheet is included in here. It's just blown out a little bit more. And some of it's frankly verbatim. It's just a larger format for you to contain a little bit more information and a little bit more detail. I try to keep my synopses down to one page, but I've left you one here in case you need to extend it. Romeo and Juliet is a dense story, so this one needed to be two pages, but I try to keep mine to one. So here I break up my deck because don't forget, they're gonna read this at their desk or they're gonna be sitting with another group of people going over the decks for the day that they have and that they need to make decisions on. I try to leave them with a quote or a line of dialogue that gives them a clear idea as to why this is a relevant project for them and why this is an important project. It can be a quote you pulled that demonstrates the core idea or value of your project or it can be a piece of dialogue that does the same thing. Here, this is an important slide, and, and here's why, is if you're pitching a web series or you're pitching a series in general, uh, having a series arc is going to give them the idea that this project has longevity, that there's multiple bites at the apple for this for them. They're, if they're gonna invest in something that's only one season long, it's usually with somebody of note. Uh, but if you are coming in as somebody who's fairly unknown but has a career behind you, they're going to want to see that their investment will have a longer life than just five or six episodes. Then I also uh, include down here the series information. So 24 episodes at 15 minutes a piece, weekly release, multi-season storyline, and the budget. Now, if you're pitching to a production partner, so let's say I go to Endemol, or all three media. I'm gonna to wanna to show them that they have multiple places that this project can live at. So that if for some reason you pitch to one outlet, and this is only made for one outlet, let's say I'm doing a gardening show, well the only place I can do is HGTV or HGTV.com, then if they say no, I'm kinda of left holding the bag. So this explains to them, hey, we can take it to all these places. Now, I always try to do four at the very least, but I usually try to get six or seven in there so that they realize that, hey, we can shop this to a lot of places and this is relevant for a lot of buyers. And again, just like on the one sheet, uh, these are the relevant people, the people that are going to make this project and the people that are going to be in this project and make it important, right? So it can be an executive producer or showrunner uh, that is sort of your standout person. It can be some on-screen talent. It can be the whole package of that. You just wanna show that you've attached the right people to this project that have industry impact. But again, it doesn't have to be Martin Scorsese or Steven Spielberg or J.J. Abrams, you just wanna show that your team will have impact on the market. So here again, we're showing our previous work, only we're blowing it out a little bit. I'm gonna have some visuals up here of the kind of work that I do or that my company does that is relevant to the conversation we're having. I try to add visuals like little thumbnails here of the projects I've done. And then down here is what was the result or the impact they had on the market? Did they get critical acclaim? Did they turn a profit? Did they get a big distribution deal? What happened? This sort of gives you a track record and gives the buyer an idea of what your track record is so that they understand why it's important for them to green light this project. And this slide for me is the most important slide of the bunch. Why audiences will love this. This is the intangibles of your project. This is the magic of your project. This is why people are going to connect with it. It also shows when you talk about this that you understand the buyer's audience. If you're going to Discovery Channel or discovery.com, that's very male skewing. It's 
kind of tends to be a little macho and it's, you know, dudes doing dude stuff out in the middle of nowhere or, you know, wild jobs or things like that. But if you're going to awesomeness, which is an online platform that creates content that empowers women, you're gonna to wanna to speak to that and how this project is going to relate to that audience. So this is a really important slide and I rarely see anybody include it. And that sets you apart from other people pitching to them. And then we say thank you for them taking the time to check out your deck and to consider writing you that big check. Um, Again, this is a deck for them to be able to explain to people who weren't in the room. This is so they have a really clear understanding of what your project is. This is not everything you ever wanted to say about your project. This is the highlights so that they get four corners around this idea and they can digest it and spit it back out very quickly and simply. So feel free to download this, use it as is and just cut and paste your stuff into it and change photos and do all that or just use it as a guidepost for you to create your own deck. So there we go. So as I said in the beginning, a link to download the PowerPoint template that I just walked you through that you can use today to make sure that you get the exact information for your next pitch is in the description below. Be sure to subscribe, click the little notification button so you get notified when other videos show up. And I can't wait to see you in the next one and I'm talking to you.